Welcome to today's edition of the show podcast. Tiffany officially became the first ever Asian housewife to be cast on any franchise, leaving fans wondering what took Bravo 15 years to do so. Bravo's Real Housewives first aired back in 2006 with none other than the Real Housewives of Orange County. The network has since gone on to release a staggering 10 other shows, although only 8 remain, with Salt Lake City being the newest. In 2015, Bravo released The Real Housewives of Dallas, which features familiar names such as Stephanie Hallman, Cameron Westcott, and Dandra Simmons, to name a few, however, flash forward to season 5, and there's a new star on the show, Tiffany Moon. Tiffany officially became the first ever Asian housewife to be cast on any franchise, leaving fans wondering what took Bravo 15 years to do so. This has been quite a heavy topic on the show thus far, especially after Brandy Redmond's ordeal. Now that Moon has found her stride, fans are loving her. While there's still much to discover about the new housewife, here are 10 things you might not have known about her. 10. She was born in China. During her debut on the show, Tiffany talked about her upbringing, revealing to viewers that she was born in a small town outside of Beijing, China. When she was only three years old, Tiffany was left with her grandparents as her mom and dad flew to the United States to create a better life. After three years, Tiffany flew by herself to New York City where she would reunite with her parents and acclimate to American life, which is not something the average six-year-old endures. 9. She experienced prejudice and discrimination. As Tiffany grew up, she managed to pick up the English language relatively fast, however, she was bullied and discriminated against quite a lot due to her Chinese heritage. During the first episode of RHOD Season 5, Tiffany shared with Brandy Ramond that she was made fun of as a kid for the shape of her eyes and accent. Kids would taunt and tease Moon for being different, something she has carried with her for most of her life. 8. She attended Cornell University. Tiffany has made it very clear during her time on the show that her parents had very high expectations of her. Moon has referred to her mother as a tiger mom, explaining that this is quite common amongst many Chinese families. Well, when it came to going to school, Tiffany attended none other than Cornell University, where she graduated in just two years by the age of 19. The star later went on to attend UT Southwestern Medical School. 7. She's a doctor. Her hard work and determination through her studies not only appeased her parents but scored Moon a medical degree. After graduating from UT Southwestern Medical School, Tiffany secured a spot as one of the leading anesthesiologists, which she takes immense pride in. She has discussed the hardships it has taken to achieve such a feat, however, her fellow co-stars don't seem to find it that impressive, leading many fans to assume that they aren't all that thrilled for her. 6. She loves to get her fitness on. As a doctor, it goes without saying that Tiffany takes pride in living the healthiest lifestyle possible. This includes many visits to her at-home gym, which has seriously kept her in shape. The star has also taken to Instagram to share a number of workout photos, including her meditation sessions. Although fitness is definitely a passion of Moon's, she still enjoys living life to the fullest, and that means enjoying a nice drink and less-than-healthy meal every now and again. 5. She's a mom to twin girls. In addition to being a doctor, Tiffany is also a mom to twin girls, Chloe and Madison, which she shares with her husband, Daniel Moon. Tiffany is also a stepmom to Daniel's 16-year-old twins, Nathan and Nicole, proving that twins definitely run in the Moon genes. While her teenagers do no appear on the show, her adorable six-year-old girls do. Despite spending time with them when she can, Moon has been torn between her long work hours at the hospital and staying home for her kids, a dilemma she continues to explore on the current season of RHOD. 4. She loves TikTok. Over the course of the COVID-19 pandemic, Tiffany not only worked at the hospital and filmed Real Housewives, but she also became a TikTok star. Tiffany is now known for her stellar impressions of her mother and the many scenarios they have found themselves in over the course of her life. Moon admits to loving the silly side of the app and is so happy that fans are gravitating towards her comical side. 3. She's the first Asian housewife. As mentioned previously, Tiffany Moon's addition to The Real Housewives is quite a historic feat for both Moon and the Bravo Network, as she is officially the first Asian cast member born outside of the United States. After a call for diversity on the show, Bravo hired Tiffany Moon and Rob Starr, Crystal Kung Minkoff, both of whom have become the first Asian housewives. 
Tiffany was introduced to the group by fellow co-star and bestie, Dandra Simmons, however, it appears as if the cast isn't giving her the warmest of welcomes. 2. She loves her wine. If there is one thing that remains a common denominator amongst most Real Housewives stars, is their love for wine. Tiffany may not be the biggest drinker, mainly because of her line of work, however, the star not only has an array of wine selection in her home but enjoys a delicious red whenever she is out with her fellow cast members. Although wine is her thing, Tiffany doesn't opt for many other spirits, including tequila, especially so when she's being forced to take a shot by co-star, Carrie Brittingham. 1. She's a major fashionista. Much like most housewives, fashion is everything for Tiffany. Although fans have seen some pretty spectacular closest on many franchises, including Lisa Vanderpump's and Erica Jane's, Moon definitely takes the cake when it comes to the Dallas ladies. Tiffany showed off her stunning closet during the second episode of RHOD Season 5, leaving many of her co-stars somewhat jealous.